So, you know, he finally, finally, the last days of his life, he finally got that 300ZX that he always wanted. And what a beautiful one. All right, everybody. So what you're looking at right here is a 1995 Nissan 300Z convertible. I mean, this is a extremely beautiful car. Um, the guy that actually owned this car has been by the store a few times. He was looking to buy a Porsche and he said, look, I'm not going to sell my car until I find a Porsche. Well, we found him a Porsche and he's in the midst of buying it. And we were able to purchase this beautiful Nissan. I mean, wow, just look at it. I mean, is it not gorgeous? Um, wow, I mean. This has, I think you explained to me, JDM front bumper clip, all that. So it's JDM. I mean, look JDM, at the interior. The bumper, the front clips. JDM. Yeah. And I think the lift. Um, there's an A, uh -huh. PS from a different company. Uh, it's in beautiful shape. I mean, you got suede. I mean, look at the leather seating. I'm sure it was done like this right Chris I think it's factory, yeah. really so yeah. factory suede this is uh, a yeah panels were done um, feels like it was done. oh it looks great it's got a nice it's end a nice dash car. yeah it really yeah, it is. is navigation <laughs> I mean come on right air conditioning is ice cold and that's exactly how Nissan would probably have done it back in the and day it, yeah can drive it. yep everybody can drive it it's got right at 80,000 miles yeah, let's check it out a little bit, everybody. Now, we are going to do an in-depth review on it um, soon, but look at the wheels. Oh, my God, it's beautiful. The whole car He's is He's driven it 2,000 miles in about 12 years. Wow. So he says it comes out, it gets wiped down, Yeah. back in the garage. Antenna works. <laughs> look at that. Look at the exhaust. Have you gone inside and seen the exhaust? Look no, I, this is gorgeous. Look at the angle right here. It's sexy. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Look at this. Wow. Look in there. It's, okay. This car, this car is clean. Yeah. It, oh wow. Okay. I see what you're talking about. Yeah. The exhaust. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. And I didn't clean it yet. I yeah. Haven't touched it yet. I love how that is right there. That's cool. All the rock guards clean. Beautiful. I mean, this is a real deal, everybody. I mean, this is what it's all about. Wow. Yeah. I love that. I mean, it's so smooth. Now, it's an older repaint now. Right. It's an older repaint. Uh, it's the, the paint's solid. Yeah, it really is. I see very few imperfections, very few spots that have a little bit of overspray, like, like, like a couple. Like uh-huh. Whoever did it did a good job. A little yeah. spot. That, I guess they want to remove this whole molding right here. Right, that makes sense. Um, and a little overtaken right here, just a smidge. Uh-huh. Um, but they shot in there correctly. Uh, under the hood, um, oh, yeah. did they spray under here as well? It was already a pearl white. Car. Okay. So, oh my goodness! Look at this. All of this wow. All the like I said, we haven't even cleaned this car yet. Yeah, this is beautiful. Okay, this is all it's naturally old aspirated, old. not yeah, a twin just, turbo. Just naturally aspirated. I don't even V6. think. I, I don't even think that there were convertible turbos. Uh huh. So. Yeah. Wow. We just had valve covers done not too long ago. Um, he cranks it regularly. Just didn't drive it often. Beautiful car, 80,000 miles. The rubber moldings. Yeah. They all retract. Uh, over time, it just kind of fall apart and just pees off. Right. You know? Now, these headlights were on other vehicles back in the day, too. Yeah, the Lamborghini Diablo. They, uh, That's right. They used the Nissan product, uh, Nissan headlights. Yeah. And in fact, there's a trim piece on the Diablo that comes right along here. Uh huh. You don't see where it says Nissan. That's cool. A lot of car makers use parts off other cars. They do, yeah. You know? It's in great shape. I'll pull it out and pour it right there. Yeah, let's check I'll it out. Got, I still got the, the truck on its way. Yep. So, yeah, the DeLorean's leaving today. Um, you know, we did a lot of filming of the uh, DeLorean, and it finally, the day has come. It sold just a day after we did the filming of it. And, uh, wow, what a beauty. But, yeah, the DeLorean's heading off to Miami Beach, Florida. And, uh, I mean, what a righteous place for that car to live at. But that right there to me is just absolutely sexy. I mean, the wheels, just. I love this car. Yeah, I know, the entire setup on it. I mean, it's beautiful. It, I mean, gosh, it looks good. They just, they don't even make cars like that anymore. 
I mean, that's just what it's all about. Can I pop it in some boys to men videos? Yeah. Some CDs, <laughs> little vanilla ice. Right. 90s. That thing is sweet. The whole look of it is awesome. All right, let's see what uh, how the DeLorean looks today as he as Chris pulls that one out. This is probably the last time it will probably ever be in the shop. <laughs> He's sad. I mean, this was Chris's baby. I mean, it's this very guy, special. I know it's going to go to a home where they're going to drive it and use it. Um, it really needs to be driven. I crank it up often. Really didn't drive it like it should, but it's always but the, the parts have been lubricated. It's been cranked. The temperature comes up. Heat work like it should. Right. I, I, I do what I needed to. I just didn't take it out often. It needs to be seen. Yeah. Uh, I actually have those uh -huh. gas cans are for that car. No. Uh -huh. So I don't have to go to a gas station to get stopped and asked <laughs> about flux capacitors and 88 miles an hour. Oh capacitor. my lord. <laughs> this is cool. So let's watch. Let's watch the Delorean pull out of the SMC SMC shop today. Um, it's always exciting in here. Over the ten years of the store being here, there's been a lot of really neat cars that have been parked inside. There we go. The Porsche is another really cool one. That's an eighty-one nine eleven. And then you got your 81 DeLorean. So there you go. Let's give it one last hey, look. Yeah. If anybody happens to notice, the wheels I've been looking for from the factory from 82 uh -huh. finally arrived. So something kind of neat coming out from, from when my wife and I got married 21 years ago. So we might do a review on this car. Oh yeah. It's the car oh, yeah. I used. I had it for a couple years before I got married. I got married and drove off in the car. Uh, you've never seen it. You've been here no, for I years. Been yeah. in the garage, waiting to find the correct set of wheels. So Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah. those wheels right back there. So I'm not going to tell everybody what they're off of just yet. But some of y'all car enthusiasts might be out here. Let me zoom in just a little bit. There you go. That's all I'm giving you, right there. Actually, you only pulled out the box last so night. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, we hate to see it go, but at the same time, it's going to a really cool place in Miami. The guy that's buying it, um, you know, is a he's himself. a car guy yeah. exactly, and, uh, and he's the first person to inquire about it. Right. Yeah. Maybe an offer. I took a couple grand off the car. He got it. It's going to get home. Right. So there you go. I gotta put the extra keys in there. Yeah. Yeah. So we do got some goodies that are going with the DeLorean. Um, we got the windows, the little side windows. Um, Chris has got a lot of Back to the Future uh, toys and stuff. We actually never got to see under here. Um, well, he's already closing it. <laughs> we never got to see the, the 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 frunk is what they call it. You know, Tesla's got a frunk, but maybe the DeLorean was the first car to have one of those frunks. Who knows? No? <laughs> Other cars have had them? Really? Okay, that's interesting. Didn't know, you know, that'd be a cool little video in its own. 70s, Porsches, and 60s. Okay, so anything mid-engine. Yeah. Oh, there you go, see? Yeah. I think Frunk, though, is kind of dubbed by Tesla. Right. So. All right, guys, stay with us. We'll be back in just we a few. We do have some Tesla information coming up, though. Don't forget that. Oh, that's right, we do, yeah. In the upcoming cryptocurrency video. Crypt oh, y'all ready? Cryptocurrency, what do you think? It goes up, it goes down, but one thing's for sure, it can come right over here to us, and uh, you can actually... Anyways, we're gonna wait for the video for that, okay? We got a whole nother thing talking about cryptocurrency with car sales real soon. All right, guys, stay with us as the vlog continues throughout the day here today at SMC. Yeah, yeah. He flew in from uh, Tampa today to buy it. He's owned it. He's bought. He bought it over a month ago. Yeah. 
From the front, from the front. Yeah. All right, you ready, baby boy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Beauty, beauty. Yes, sir. Congratulations, man. It's a dream come true right here, baby. Yes, sir. Wow. Look at that. Close that door. Close that door back. Listen to that door. Close the door. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Yes, sir. Yeah. AC freeze out. Yeah, man. Barely works. Got navigation. Yeah. You can probably have a backup camera up there if you wanted to. Uh, I probably will. Yeah, I plan to stay up here a few minutes. And well, as you can see, that was pretty exciting today, you know? Um, that's what it's all about here at Southern Motor Company is helping you find your dream car. What's up, everybody? So it is now, oh gosh, maybe three, four months later. And uh, so anyways, I was kind of browsing through my phone a minute ago, looking at older videos. And I was like, here's this video I started showing y'all the 300 zx that we had had and then now it's several months later we sold the car maybe a week or two after maybe even a month after we made that video that car sold went out of here i might even put a clip i must might have already put a clip in here so you can see who the guy is that bought that car and then at the end of the video i'm kind of or at a point in the video i'm showing you these wheels that were sitting off back in the shop back here and trying to see if anybody knew what wheels they were right well nobody knows what wheels they were nobody ever guessed it because i never made the video so anyways my brother's here today he just flew in town from seattle and uh your friend from boston oh we got the same hey, shirt right <laughs> so so anyways that video from no 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 just just film it but those wheels were sitting on the back back there so chris i was looking at some old footage on my phone and there was these old wheels sitting in the back of the shop back there for and i asked people on the video like hey what car are these wheels from and nobody really knew well today maybe the day they could take a peek and see what the wheel, what kind of car the wheels actually go on there's nowhere near done they can look at it so this car those wheels went to this car it's a jaguar if you were able to see on the wheel it had this this logo right here on the wheel that's on them look carefully jaguar so that's the wheels and they actually look, look really good with the you firestone tires wheels? yeah i mean they're really kind of just I don't know. They look kind of good. I like them now. That wheel actually didn't come on uh -huh. this year car. Really? Yeah. So a, uh, a honeycomb wheel, which, which is the, the old wheel that came on the car sit over there. Yeah. Somebody painted it white. And, but this right. This is the wheel that came on my 1982 car I bought many, many, many years ago. Okay. But, um, but, but, but a similar body style to this? Like, same, same, same car. Same car, just an 82. This one's a 87. Seven. Okay. The difference is it has a little information display uh -huh. above the. Oh, I'll go to your money. Yeah. Information display right there. This is a. So information display of all the Oh, okay. Yeah. That's it. 80, what, 86, 87s. Now, I actually going to go look. I'm, I'm glad we're talking about this. Yeah. That's Delbert. Um, see the wooden gear shift handle? Yeah. I want plastic. That's what my 82 had. And see that nerdy steering wheel? Right. I want the cheap plastic one. That's what my car came with. So I have to go find those. You, hon, you don't want the wood in I don't here. want the wood. I want my car the way it was. Oh, exactly so like the I 82 I sold it to a was. friend who had to have it many years ago. Yeah. And then he sold it to somebody. And then it, it wasn't the same car. I sold it to Mr. Um, Ed, Ed. Yeah. Ed, Ed Tolhurst, I think his name was. Okay. So, but these... The seats are fair. I'm gonna have John do his thing on the seat. Yeah, they look pretty nice. The original car, my, the, the car I had in the '80s. Well, yeah, you know, the headliner looks good. Had a sunroof. These cars okay. come with sunroofs, but the sunroof was an uh -huh. ASC McLaren install. Not, hmm. not the same company as McLaren the car, but this, right. But the company that made the customized Mustangs. Yeah. So. And this eggshell color, which is kind of cool. You don't see a lot of cars nowadays with that color. It's, it's, it's almost a yellowish earlier in the day when the sun was with the body out. Right. So. That's neat. Yeah. I don't remember if my original car had fog lights or not. I don't know, but I like it. What's up, bud? Looking good. 
All right. This is really neat. This is actually a two door. Kind of looks like a four door if you don't, if you're not paying attention. But Jaguar XJS V12. You won't see a whole lot of these cruising down the road. Believe me. You sometimes see older Jaguars, but to find an XJS V12 like this, very rare. And um, so there you go. You got to see the car that those rims went to. Pretty cool. Very neat. There you go. Bye. Hey, man. How you doing? I'm good. I good. Like the video. Thank you. Yeah. I like the location. I like the uh -huh. car look. Right? Yeah. yeah. How about me doing 90 in the back room? Yeah. All right. I, saw that <laughs> I listened to that. I said, oh, yeah. he said that out loud. I know. He, he just go. They got to stop me. They got to prove I was doing it. They yeah. got to be there to stop me. Right. I, we, that car there is part of the garage. What are you talking about? <laughs> I wasn't out there. <laughs> we got the video right here. Yeah. Cool. Very, very nice. But, yeah. All right, everybody, thanks for watching today's video. Going back in past a little bit with a uh, you know video we shot a few months ago. Now, there is a reason why I wanted to make this quick video, though. Um, first, I just wanted to say, well, first off, the, the man that actually purchased the uh, 300ZX from us actually passed away maybe a few weeks ago. Um, yeah, we ended up talking with his family uh, about the vehicle and, and things like that and didn't know he passed away. And uh, anyways, long story short, um, he he passed away due to complications of uh, the COVID virus. So that's it's really sad. Um, I ended up picking him up from the airport that day and uh, bringing him to the store. Also talked with him and texted with him several times. You know, just... You know, doing what a sales guy does when selling a car. And uh, anyways, I mean, I didn't really know the fell all that much, but from the short period of time for me riding from the airport down to the dealership uh, with him, I could just really tell he really had a passion for cars and he had always uh, wanted or even dreamed of having um, a 300ZX. So, you know, he finally, finally, the last days of his life, he finally got that 300ZX that he always wanted. And what a beautiful one. So anyways, I hope his family keep it for many years to come. And uh, just wanted to say, uh, say uh, sorry to hear that he passed away. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. And thanks for watching, as always.